All right, here are five things to know on this Tuesday. A man from Holden is set to be sentenced today for a hit and run. David McKensley hit an elderly man in Brewer last year, sending him to the hospital with serious injuries. McKenzie was found guilty last month of assault and leaving the scene. His sentencing is set to start at 1 o'clock this afternoon in Bangor. The state fire marshal's office is investigating the cause of a fire at an apartment building in the town of Norway. The fire chief there, David Knox, says crews responded to the building on Hazen Street just after 4 yesterday afternoon. Firefighters say they found a 16-year-old girl who inhaled smoke inside the unit. Uh, she was taken to the hospital. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Police in Cape Elizabeth are asking for help finding a vehicle they say was involved in a hit and run crash. Officials say a red or maroon car, possibly a Subaru Forester, hit a pedestrian as that person was walking at the intersection of Route 77 and Spurwink Road around 11 o'clock yesterday morning. Their injuries were minor, but if you have any information, you are asked to contact Cape Elizabeth State Police as Cape Elizabeth Police. And a heads up for those of you in Bangor, a section of Pearl Street will be closed uh, to through traffic until Thursday. Contractors are doing some work for the sewer department on the street between Mount Hope Ave and Garland Street. Local traffic will still be allowed on that section of road, though. Leaders with 10 different faith traditions will host a multi-faith prayer service this morning in Augusta to honor the lives that were lost during the Lewiston mass shootings near nearly one year ago. The prayer service will begin at 10 a.m. at the plaza between the State House and the Cross Building in Augusta. Everyone is invited to attend regardless of their faith background. The service will be one hour long and include prayers, songs, time for silent reflection, and a reading of the names of the 18 people we lost that that day. There will be an ASL interpreter and the event is mobility accessible. Organizers want to remind folks to dress accordingly as the event is outside. Dress accordingly indeed. People might need a sweatshirt or yeah, two out there today. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's starting to feel like autumn out there. It will today. Unlike yesterday, we're not hitting the 70s. It's going to stay in the 60s with a mix of sun and clouds. Not bad out there. Uh, tomorrow, mostly cloudy, also mid 60s, and then it warms up for the second half of the week. We'll be close to 70 on Thursday, mid 70s, warmest of the stretch on Friday, cooling off again over the weekend with a little rain on Saturday. All right, not too bad of a forecast. No, you can't no, complain there. <laughs> Thanks Take for care. joining us. Have a great day.